Hey everybody, so this is my Vita 8, and I want to start off by saying thank you all for those well wishes that I had for my Vita yesterday, Vita 7. <laughs> um, I do feel much better today. Um, I was able to kick the migraine. Um, it took a few hours of uh, sleeping it off, and uh, it did finally go away, thankfully. So, um, I want to share with you today um, a little project and um, a haul. I'll start off with the project. Jamie Lola Tulula, who is Poet Spice here on YouTube, she had uploaded a tutorial on how to make button bunnies, um, crochet button bunnies, and uh, I gave it a try because they're really cute and quick. And uh, my first one was made out of the same pink and ivory yarn I did my banner with and uh, yeah so it looks like this I think it turned out okay I'm not really good at making handmade pom-poms though and she showed us how to do that but it's got a little hanger here and a little tail but that was my first one and then my second one was this orange and pink bright orange and pink one kind of did it backwards though I I think it was this one that did backwards I don't know um yeah the it's supposed to like this was supposed to be the butt part of it but I decided to make the pink side the butt part I don't know why I just did um they're super cute so there's that one and then I did this one with some variegated yarn and I stitched it together a little differently than the other ones. And I, I don't like the pom-pom, but because you can see where they're tied. And, uh, but yeah, there's that. Um, so I only made up three of them today. I'll probably make more. They're really easy to make. The haul portion of my video is from Goodwill. I went there today with my granddaughter. And I'll show you what I picked up there. First off, I picked up some yarn. This one was a skein all, skein all by itself, and it was $1.99, um, which is like about a dollar savings if I were to buy it in the store, and it's just the pink camo, and I don't have any of this color, so that's why I picked that up. And then I found another one of these that was empty for $1.99. And then an empty one of these for $2.99 because I started sorting through my beads that I picked up the last time I was there and I decided I really like this container. Um, so I went ahead and picked that one up. And then I found this. Um, to make some crocheted eggs. I know there's some patterns online, but I, I like to have books on hand just in case, you know, the internet's not working. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. I like that. And then I found this uh, Fisker's Punch. It was $1.99, and it's a super small hole puncher. I don't know if you can see the size of that. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But it's really small. I have a crocodile, but I haven't really monkeyed with it to learn how to use it. Um, but I think this one will help if, you know, there's just some stuff along the edge and I don't need to go very far in on something. Uh, so yeah, I picked that up. Also, I got a bag of yarn. It was $7.99. And um, I'll just pull out what was in it. I've already sorted it. This particular piece was a jumble mess. I had to untangle it and cake it. 
it was just tossed in all tangled but it's a really pretty color and then this fluffy white And this uh, orange thread, it's a really thick one. I don't know what size it would be, but it's really thick. I like that. This ball of bright red. And uh, these luster sheen knit and crochet yarn. There were two of this bright rose. I have some other luster sheen somewhere else in my wall of yarn. Unless I gifted it to somebody, I don't remember. But um, then there was this natural one. And then this Ducilla Tempo, which is similar to this. And it doesn't have a color name, but it's uh, kind of like a light pink color and then this small bit of variegated green and white thread those are the small bits that went in there and then there was this radiant beige white then there was this two ply acrylic um, Hershner's it's really cool I like it and it's uh, it's called fisherman and then this wind tuck Karen wind tuck called dark Caribbean Caribbean blue And then there's this one. This looks like the Turqua um, Red Heart. Uh, so I think that's probably what that is. And then this one. The Karen One Pounder. These things are like eight bucks um, if you buy them in the store. And it's the off-white. So uh, just uh, this one alone in the bag was worth the value. So that's basically why I picked it up was this and these guys the the Lester Sheen ones um, I really like I'm gonna try and do more doilies and stuff with these guys so yeah um, that was my haul from Goodwill mostly the yarn and uh, I bought a toy for my granddaughter I tend to always buy her a toy when I go there her parents don't have to buy her toys because grandma does it for them um so yeah thank you so much again for the support um and well wishes for yesterday and uh i will talk to y'all tomorrow thank you bye bye so i forgot something that i got and it was beside me on the floor is uh this case here and uh it's got these drawers and they're photo drawers Oh, that was really cool. If I use them for photos, I don't know. I don't print photos anymore, but um, maybe they'll work for storing stickers or stamps or something like that. All of them. I like that. And they slide really good. And they're in really good condition. Sturdy box. And it was $4. So it was a pretty good deal. Anyways, so again, talk to y'all tomorrow, and uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye.